Washington. Good afternoon. We're broadcasting live for Facebook Live from Washington, D.C. And this afternoon, we're going to have a conversation with Dr. Eugene McCray, who's the director of the Division of HIV AIDS Prevention at the CDC. It's great seeing you again and having great. the opportunity to talk to you after many months uh, away uh, from the division. My name is Angel Ortiz Ricard, and I'm a senior public health advisor uh, stationed at the Puerto Rico Department of Health working for the Division of HIV AIDS Prevention. And we have a couple of questions for Dr. McCray, but do you want to say something before we start questions? Well, just that um, this is really a great opportunity for me to be here. Um, I've been in my position now for approximately two years, and this is my first opportunity to attend um, a, a care, an HIV um, care and treatment conference. That's great, and we are on the second day of the conference. Uh, this is the 2016 National Ryan White Conference on HIV Care and Treatment. And I would like to know what are your impressions about the conference so far? Mm -hmm. Well, let me just first say how excited I am to be here. Um, you know, I, uh, my understanding is that the, this is the first conference um, after 14 years, about after four years, and there are over 2,400 participants. And what was exciting for me was the opening plenary that um, last night where we, well, yesterday afternoon, where we had the opportunity to hear from really several leaders in HIV AIDS from the department. Um, and one of the things that was stressed as part of the opening plenary was the really um, accomplishments that have occurred as a result of Ryan White in terms of care outcome for people living with HIV and AIDS. But Clearly, clearly articulated during that plenary is the need for us to celebrate the successes mm -hmm. that we have, but the opportunity to do a lot more and the need to do a lot more because there are significant disparities that exist in, care, in terms of care outcome for people living with HIV AIDS. And some of the things that um, I've been seeing this morning and hearing today um, as part of the conference are really stressing and talking about some of the innovative approaches that people are using to, one, identify um, reasons for poor outcomes for various populations along the continuum, but also um, um, demonstration projects and other opportunities to address those barriers. And the, really the great collaborations that are occurring across agencies um, in, with the community, with academic partners and others to address these disparities that we're seeing in care outcomes. I'm talking about healthcare outcomes for people living with HIV. I know that CDC and HRSA are having very strong collaboration mm -hmm. efforts mm -hmm. in many different uh, and many different activities to improve health outcomes for people living with HIV. Uh, are there any presentations here from CDC that show or demonstrate that collaboration and those efforts and how they are being? successfully implemented around the country. Right. So, yeah, and there are a number of things, but I will, let me just say a couple of things about some of the disparities that we're talking about. Uh, clearly articulated in the opening plenary yesterday was the fact that we see we are seeing significant disparities um, in terms of HIV care outcome for young people, um, youth, um, people between the ages, people 24 years and younger. Um, they are, are on less than 50 percent are, are, are virally suppressed, meaning that their virus is at a, lower, uh, at a very low level, which keeps them healthy and prevent them from transmitting the disease to other. The other, there are several other groups where there are significant disparities, and, and those include men who have sex with men, but particularly young men who have sex with men. And some of the collaborations that you will be hearing about and seeing at this conference are collaborations that are addressing those disparities. And one that I want to mention that is a really innovative collaboration between CDC, um, HRSA, the HIV AIDS Bureau at HRSA, and the National Institutes of Health is a collaboration that is designed to enhance outcomes along the care continuum for youth living with HIV. And what this is is a collaboration between the CDC-funded health departments, the HRSA-funded um, Ryan White Care Clinics, and um, the NIH um, Adolescent Clinical Trials Network has a set of clinics where they're doing work, and they really focus on increasing linkage of these young people who are newly diagnosed with HIV to care, getting them into effective care and, and getting them virally suppressed as soon as possible. It involves using um, um, community workers to, to actually, community workers and clinic workers to actually 
help educate these young people and, and really um, the, edu the workers are trained on culturally appropriate um, uh, approaches to really engaging these young people to make them accept treatment. And, and actually um, that, that workshop is occurring now as we're speaking and I'm not going to reveal the results, um, but, but they're, they're, they're actually having great results um, uh, in that study. And we're hoping that um, this is a demonstration project that is being funded partly by the Second Secretary Minority AIDS Initiative mm -hmm. Fund, which is um, funded, which is managed out of um, Health and Human Services. But that funding has allowed this collaboration to really take place, and, and I think it's a great collaboration, and we're seeing great results, and it's something that we will be incorporating into our programs and hopefully expanding over time. Um, let me just draw this little pause for a minute and just, um, just say hello to those of you that are out there listening to us now. And it would be nice for us to know, to hear from you and, and, and so that we know where you're coming from, where you're calling in from and acknowledge you. So again, I'm Dr. Eugene McRae from the Division of HIV AIDS Prevention. And, and I'm Angelo Disregard, I'm a senior public health advisor at the Division of HIV AIDS Prevention. So a, a second collaboration that I wanted to highlight is uh, our Partnership for Care elaboration, collaboration. This is a collaboration between um, primary health care and, uh, and, and clinical care providers. Um, primarily, um, um, these are, uh, this is with HRSA, um, HIV, let me, Bureau of Primary Health Care, and community health centers. And what this collaboration is, is really a collaboration where we're using data, surveillance data and other data to um, make sure to engage people in care, people who may not have been in care or have fallen out of care. We want to make sure they get engaged in care, and we're working closely with the Bureau of Primary Health Care and their clinical care and the primary care clinics to do that work. Again, um, the outcomes that they're seeing have been very, um, very good. And tomorrow there's going to be a workshop where we're going to be presenting the data um, from that collaboration. Um, and, and, and the the third thing I wanted to mention um, is the collaboration we have with HRSA where we're really developing, working together to develop integrated surveillance um, prevention and care plans. And these, this is meant to really um, enhance collaboration at the jurisdictional or local level and to ensure that people, that people get better access and we have better outcomes in terms of um, uh, care outcomes for people living with HIV and AIDS. And I'm glad that you mentioned it because mm -hmm. I was part of that work group that, you know, developed the guidance for the integrated plan. And proud to say that I, in collaboration with the Health Department of Puerto Rico, I led uh, the development of the plan uh, for the jurisdiction of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And we uh, are presenting right now the last or the final draft mm -hmm. of the plan. It was a great process with a lot of community engagement and a lot of support from providers, community, and, and government. And we're done, you know. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, everybody was talking about their plan, and at the end, everybody was talking about our plan. Mm -hmm. So it was a very, very uh, excellent opportunity mm -hmm. to re-engage community and bring them all together in the same table to make decisions mm -hmm. and to be heard, you know, about the needs of our clients and the needs of the community. Right. Yeah, and, I, and, 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 and just to add on, this is a, the process has already happened in Puerto Rico. I know a number of jurisdictions, um, health jurisdictions, are in the process of developing these plans. And there are a number of posters here at the, at the conference that where uh, people are talking about the process and presenting information on the process and the outcomes. The, the, the last thing I wanted to just mention is, um, you know, one of the things that was highlighted in the opening plenary were, was um, the many disparities that we're seeing um, in, in terms of outcomes. And there will be a number of posters presented tomorrow um, that really highlights outcomes in certain key populations. Um, one of them will be, there's one that's focused on um, young MSM, and there's another one that's actually focused on outcome among racial and ethnic groups, highlighting the fact that young um, black MSM and young Hispanic MSM have poor outcomes. So, um, you know, and, and I, I see that Boston, DC, and Miami is on the phone, on the, um, on, on the on, on line, so I wanna give a shout out to you, and thank you for joining us. So again, it's great talking to you again, Dr. McRae, and, and to learn, you know, other things that are happening in, in the division since I'm away from the division for a couple of years. 
uh, but it's glad to hear and to talk to you. Uh, do you have any thoughts or any remarks uh, that you want to share with our Facebook viewers? Well, one of the things that I want to just end by saying um, the collaboration um, with HRSA and, and in, on, in terms of trying to, in, in terms of improving outcomes for people living with HIV and AIDS is really critical and our collaboration is expanding. But that collaboration also includes um, a number of other partners because if we are to really achieve the level of viral suppression that we have targeted, which is 80% viral suppression for the nation, we have to partner with other organizations like Housing and Urban Development, like SAMHSA, Substance Abuse and Mental Health um, Programs, et cetera, to ensure that people living with HIV AIDS and those at high risk for HIV AIDS has an opportunity to get access to the services that they need to really help them and assist them in terms of getting the outcomes that we want and to help them stay healthy and live long, healthy lives. So. The community is a really important part of that, and I hope that many of you that are listening from the community really understand and, uh, and, 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 and know that we feel that none of this could happen without community support and community engagement. So thank you so much. Yep. I hope that all this information is useful for everybody that is watching us. Have a good evening. Thank you.